actually had that question on a podcast that I did. Well, that I was invited onto my first ever podcast invite by this big small world who's awesome another fellow Aussie um he was doing a podcast with myself and Annika who um specializes in cakes she makes a whole lot of cakes and yeah it was all around like food and drink streamers and just like chatting and asking questions and it was a really fun time and that was one of the questions was like what what's your favorite what's your favorite thing to make and my answer was definitely pasta related and then I talked about pasta for a while and um if you if you have been here for a while you would have known that I have recreated my grandma's pasta dish her chorizo pasta dish which is like one of my all-time favorite meals and I thought she would have had a recipe somewhere because when she passed away last year I got all of her recipe books um, and there's many 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 like folders big big folders and I still need to go fully through them and just take photos of all her handwritten ones which I haven't done yet because that's quite the task and I've gone through them all I've read I've, I've seen all her handwritten ones and she doesn't have the chorizo pasta <laughs> recipe because she made it so many times that she just did it from memory and she never wrote it down so yeah I've tried recreating that three times now I think twice on stream maybe and then one time off stream which was that was the closest time I've come when I made it off stream it has like coconut milk and tomato and a whole range of other things I don't know how I feel about using a knife by the way. I feel like it's really difficult to get the bottom bit. Never ever do I mix things in with a knife. I do actually have a very cool Danish whisk. So cool in fact that I bought my dad one as well because he's an excellent cook. So I feel like this would be a better job. I feel like yeah maybe I'll just use that instead. Oh yeah, so thank you very much for the shout out, Josh, for um, Big Small World. This Big Small World, they're awesome. Definitely go chuck them a follow. They're lovely. They're so creative. The other day he made, <laughs> it was a fruit sandwich. And he got different ingredients to look like different ingredients. It was, it was, it just blew my mind. I'm like, wow, this is creative. <laughs> it was awesome. He used like watermelon. Um, as like the, the meat and yeah a whole bunch of other like substitutes and made like a fruit sandwich in on brioche bread as well which is the best bread <laughs> oh and Pete welcome hello <laughs> hi Pete so sorry I was I was oh, talking about pasta wasn't I how are you doing Pete how's things yes 400 cinnamon rolls you say and yes, knife can also scratch the glass. That's what I, I felt like it was scratching the gra glass. I can't quite see it, but that's why I've been so cautious. So I'm gonna swap it out for the whisk. If I can find it. Where is the whisk? I haven't used it in quite some time and I do actually need to clean out this drawer. So I do the cooking, obviously, and then Josh does the dishes. So a lot of time he puts away the dishes in places where I don't know where they go. You know where the whisk is? The baby whisk. Yeah, that's where I thought I saw it. Yeah, I thought I saw it there as well. Yeah, oh, hello, it's actually that's where you are. It's fine. Oh, 
There it is. There it is. Hello, stream. <laughs> You're working up an appetite, are you, Dot? Yes, very excited. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I'm going to swap out. I don't want to use this knife anymore. I do feel like it would be scratching. And also, it's an awfully sharp knife or a butter knife, but I feel like all of our knives that are butter knives are slightly too sharp. So, yes, yeah, so this is the Danish whisker that I bought. I loved it so much that I got my dad one. That's better. Yeah, it's because it's in a in a curve so I can get the bottom of the bowl now instead of yeah the knife just kind of scratching and not doing a good job at combining it there we go that's so much better yay I should have done that a whole bowl ago I missed some chat in that <laughs> use your hands then you can lick your fingers <laughs> that is that is a good point that is definitely point to using your own hands. Yeah, I figured because it's going to be so sticky. And I used my hands before when I was um, melding in the butter. That I was like, hmm, I'll swap it up. I'll do what the recipe says in terms of use your hands for the, the butter. But then when you put the milk in, use a utensil. Yes, and big spoon probably better than the knife, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. Next. Next batch. Let's welcome in Droid Insanity. Thanks for being here and watching me make 400 cinnamon rolls. Hundred and seventy. We're at 150, 167, 169, 170. That's awesome. I did exactly 170 in all of them. I just find the cap and put the milk back in. Also, I'm pretty sure Josh was snacking. There is the cap. Uh oh. There it is. Ah, he was snacking. <laughs> 20 times on stream. Josh never resets the Kiana. It's that pistachio milk. It is almond milk. Almond milk, that's my favorite kind of milk. Oh, and Holly, I woke up early to my stomach hurting. Oh, and honestly, spending time with Audrey and, and more friends on Twitch definitely helped me feel better. Oh, well, I'm sorry that you woke up with a sore stomach. I know that life. I definitely know that life. So, glad that hanging out on Twitch with Audrey and other friendos is making you feel better. A bit yeti. <laughs> Wait, right ball under. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. So my left, yep. <laughs> gotcha. Yes, I should have asked for help. I thought I should have just looked on the screen actually. That probably was more helpful than me looking over the top of these bowls. Oh yes, this whisk is so much better than a knife. And yes, I agree. I feel like a spoon would do even better than a knife. I just figured I'd try it because I never do that. Usually when I see a recipe, like a baking recipe, and it says mix it in using a butter knife, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to use a spatula. But I figured I try it out. I test it out, and I can confirm I am not a fan. So I didn't like the feeling of the knife like scraping on the on the bowl. This is so much nicer. I feel like that's combined 
even better than this first one. So I might even, yeah. It has, there was even crumbly bits down in this first bowl, so. They're at, we always somewhat tweak a recipe to find out what works best. I'm very aware not everyone would have a Danish whisk, so I feel like a spatula would be perfectly fine. It's a very sticky, okay, that's probably why they say don't use your hands, because that is so sticky. And maybe with a spatula it might stick to it more, maybe that's why they say the knife, but this is also stainless steel, so it has the same sort of effect. <laughs> you like adding to the channel more. <laughs> oh, welcome in Smurf. Hi Smurf, how are you doing? How's things? <laughs> I hope you're excited to see 400 cinnamon rolls. I'm very excited. I'm gonna check the recipe. So we've done the milk, the butter, the flour, the salt. Now we just need to turn out the dough and knead until it forms a smooth bowl. And then we've already got our rolling pin out. Okay, we're into the, the actual making of it now. So I'll put all these ingredients up out of the way. Also, I'm not sure at what point we add in the vanilla because I it definitely hasn't said to do that yet. Just double checking. Flour, salt, butter. Yes. Milk. Yes. Hmm. At what point do we add in? <gasps> you know what? I feel like this recipe they've missed. Oh, no, never mind. I don't. I think it might just be for the filling that we use the vanilla extract. I thought maybe it was in the dough as well, but it is not. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, it would be amazing to have some gloves. Honestly, would love to have some when I cook. Yep. <laughs> and you are correct, Viv, in the filling or as a glaze. Oh, and Smurf, I'm well, thank you. Never had a cinnamon roll before. Me either. I've never had one either. And I've never seen one in any bakery that I've ever been to. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. I think, I think I'm gonna love it. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. And then we're gonna start rolling these into bowls. This guy actually looks like an eight-year-old's picture outside with like the vibrant blue sky and then the super duper fluffy fluffy white clouds and it's like what I used to draw as a child with the I, don't think, I think there's a special name for them like the Mimbers clouds but like the comically fluffy fluffy ones Oh, you know what? There's a bit of milk that we spilled, so I might just wipe that out first. <laughs> Chewy! Wait, wait, what, what? <laughs> yes! 400 cinnamon rolls, and I've never had one before. There's so many things that I feel Australia just 
so behind the times in desserts being one of them. Like we don't get snickerdoodles here and the first time I ever had one was when I made them myself on a Halloween stream and that's my that's my all-time favorite cookie now. Those snickerdoodles that I made. So good. I think the most Australian dessert we have are lamingtons and that I don't like lamingtons. I would never go out of my way to go buy a lamington. I feel like that's such a non-dessert, but it's like that's like the most Australian dessert I can think of. Cinnamon rolls are great and you'll definitely enjoy them, so will Josh. Mmm. <laughs> How have you never had a cinnamon roll and now you're making 400? Yeah, we just don't have them here. From what I've seen, every bakery that I've been to, and I've been on the hunt. I've been on the hunt because I want to have a cinnamon roll. I really wanted to have one so I could compare. I could know what a cinnamon roll is supposed to taste like and then make 400. I thought that would be excellent. So every bakery that we have passed in the last couple of months, really, because, yeah, I knew I was going to make cinnamon rolls for some time now. Um, they just, they don't have cinnamon rolls. So every bakery just, nope. And I really, really want them, so I'm gonna make my own. <laughs> but yes, Chewy, I assume you've had cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Were they delicious? I've only heard good things. Nimbus 2000. <laughs> Yes, scientific name, Nimbus 2000. I'm assuming that the tea is more like a savory version of a cinnamon donut. Mmm, I'd assume so. So we don't really have anything sweet in our dough. In fact, we have a little bit of salt in it. So that's what the recipe called for, but it's the filling and the glaze are very sugary and sweet. Oh, and what's a snickerdoodle? <gasps> they are like a... It goes my mouth just watering. <laughs> uh, just... My mouth is flooding. Um, snickerdoodle, they clearly are my favorite dessert because I can't even speak right now. <laughs> Due to all the saliva. Okay, a snickerdoodle is like a super soft, doughy cookie. Uh, just, it's like, vanilla cinnamony goodness. Yup. It's like a thousand times better than the Subway cookie. And I like Subway cookies. But yeah, they're like, they're super soft and plush and floppy. It's almost like a, if a, if a brownie, like a vanilla cinnamony brownie had a baby with a cookie. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I definitely missed some chat there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it anyway and use Josh's room. Um, I was gonna scroll. <laughs> I totally missed some chat. I'm so sorry. But I saw Panther. Welcome in. Um, and something about Cinnabon stations and malls. Yes, we don't have cinnamon ball. Mm, cinnamon, Cinnabon. We don't have that here. I, I'm pretty sure. And I'm so sorry if I missed chat. My hands are in no state to scroll and use Josh's mouse. I don't think he'd be very happy with me. <laughs> but welcome in! And Panther, how are you doing? Just relaxing on this fine Sunday. Yes, it's gonna be relaxing with 400 cinnamon rolls very, very soon. Uh, I think vanilla slice is not really Australian, but a most common at bakeries. Yes, we do have a lot of cinnamon slice. Yeah, I, I feel like that's that's probably falling under Australian bakery. But yeah, Lamingtons is like the big one. And I just, I'm very meh about Lamingtons. I'd eat them if I was a kid. It's because I'd eat anything as a kid. Actually, I eat anything now. But at the parties when there was like a big, big thing of Lamingtons, I'd be like, mm, uh, well, okay, guess I'll add one to my plate. <laughs> Josh, what do you think about Lamingtons? What does everyone else think about Lamingtons? 
They're like very. Sorry, what do you think of Flemingtons? Yeah, a bit meh on lamb I'll eat them if they're there, but... Yeah, I think that's that's the way for most people. I don't know anyone that's like, oh my goodness, lamington. Yeah, they need like jam in the middle, or also very like dry. Oh, I've never had one with jam in the middle. Yeah, they're not too bad with jam. They're so dry, they make your mouth drier, and you, just, you, you don't want that from dessert. Yeah, no, the jam offsets the dryness, so it's significantly bruised. Yes. Yeah, I've never had one with jam. But yeah, they're just, they're like a sponge cake but a dry sponge cake covered in the thinnest layer of non-chocolate <laughs> like chocolate non-chocolate covering that's like so thin and then rolled in coconut so they they just don't really taste like anything and they're kind of like air so yeah no we're not fans of the lamingtons here <laughs> and yes, 400, that's a lot. 400 cinnamon rolls. <laughs> yes, they're going to be itty bitty mini ones. And I really hope I have enough. Mm. Now that I'm looking at the mixture, I thought it would have been a bit bigger, but we only tripled the recipe. We only tripled the recipe. We might have to double the tripling of the recipe. Eat. Oh, yeah, so sticky. So sticky. That's why we didn't use our hands to mix it, I think. <laughs> it's like impossible. <laughs> uh, are you making your own frosting or did you buy something? Yes, we'll be making our own. Our own glaze to go on top. Definitely. Making it all from scratch. But we're also, it's it's like the simplest recipe I could find because some of the recipes out there for cinnamon rolls are so complicated and they take so much resting time for the dough to rise and a whole bunch of different things that I was like, nope, I'm going to do a yeast free version so we can just use self-raising flour and cut down our time and our thinking, <laughs> um, our need for thinking. This is definitely the stickiest one, by the way. More flour. I'm gonna combine them. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I have one giant big thing. <laughs> there we go. Also, I didn't even check how many this makes from this recipe. Didn't even check. So I figure we're just gonna have to do what we can with the amount that we have. And we also, we have heaps of leftovers. We have lots of flour, we have lots of butter. So we can just make another batch if we need and I'll be quicker with it the next time anyway, because I've done it before. And lamingtons, it's a sweet, oh damn it, I missed it, I missed it. <laughs> I missed the chat. We need to have like a pop out chat. I, th I think other like food and drink streamers have that so then they can see more of the chat. So I only have a very small, small window and then it moves. Josh, you should be on scroll duty. Are you able to remote in right now? That would be cool. But yes, I'm so sorry. I'm missing chats. La oh, <laughs> you like lamingtons? You think they're delicious? Wait. I feel like we're spelling them differently. Lemmingtons. Ours are Lemmingtons. I think, are we thinking of the same thing? Yes, raised dough is the best. I know, but I figure first I'm making them and I'm making 400. I should probably try and simplify where I can. Oh, I had something very similar to Lemmington before. It was basically also sponge cake with chocolate and coconut. Just Googled and they're called and they come from oh my goodness oh. <laughs> my old baking high horse self coming out <laughs> mm. 
that is all good. <laughs> and honey buns. I've not had a honey bun. It's spelled lamington. Okay. Yeah. Because that's how I spell it. And I was like, wait a minute. Are we talking about a different thing here? Okay. I think we're going to need some more flour, actually. Because it's getting a little too, too sticky. Before we do that, and now that I've washed my hands, I'm definitely going to read what we're going to do next. Spread some flour. Yes, I will. And thank you for the hydrate. We'll do all the things before I get stuck back into this. We'll get the trays out. I want to think about our filling. Ah, oh, delicious water. Yesterday. Um, at the birthday party there wasn't water but we brought our drink bottles thank goodness because I was so dehydrated okay and then we use a rolling bin and we roll it out and then we spread the softened butter over the dough so we do we need more butter and we leave a gap of two centimeters around the edges and then we combine the cinnamon and sugar in a small bowl and sprinkle over and then we start rolling and then we cut and then we put it in the baking tray <laughs> okay and it will rise in the oven obviously because we have self-raising flour so this will go further so we can make them tiny 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 because we need 400 and it says it's only going to take 20 minutes but we have a lot more that we're putting in the oven so it'll be it'll be more than 20 minutes so we'll just keep an eye on them and, and then we and then we'll think about our glaze after that. Really, it's the sugar, butter first, and then the sugar and the cinnamon, which I will check how much we need. So we need 60 grams of butter for the filling. And then one and a half tablespoons, but we're tripling that. So we'll get a little bowl. Am I too hungry to spell the word right? <laughs> yes. Okay, one and a half tablespoons of tablespoons. That's a lot of cinnamon. Tablespoons. I wonder if it says how many grams that is. Nope. That'd be good. If there's ever grams in baking, just go with the grams rather than trying to eyeball how much you think one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon is. But oh well, it doesn't have it and I'm not going to Google that. Uh, <laughs> no cinnamon challenge for me today. That is strong. <clears throat> it wafted. It's still wafting, I can see it just like swirling around. <laughs> and Another one. <laughs> see Josh is remoting into the computer and doing shenanigans. What you doing, Josh? I'm gonna count that as one and a half because that is so heaped. Yeah, I didn't get a word of that. <laughs> the amount of times I say that in a stream where I'm like, I didn't, I, don't, I didn't hear that, Josh. You know what I also can't hear though, Josh? The music. That's weird. I just realized that I can't hear the music. I have a little earpiece here so then it doesn't pick it up twice. 
I don't know if the song is just changing. Hmm. All right, sugar. A third of a cup of caster sugar. So it's gonna be a full cup of caster sugar for the <laughs> for the filling. Ugh, okay. Seems like a lot. But I think we knew what we were getting into. Hi, Addy. There we go. The music's back. Yay. Yeah, Ah, uh, okay. Josh just said when he remotes in, then I can't hear it. So now I know when you're remoting in. It's definitely a third of a cup, isn't it? Yep, and my time is up by three. This might be the most caster sugar I've ever used in a recipe on stream. Addie's looking for scraps. I just realized you didn't see any of that. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> a cinnamon. It's even worse than flour. It just... It like smokes up. Hi. I need longer arms. <laughs> uh, can you see that on camera? It's like wafting out to like here. Damn it, cinnamon. Maybe I should be wearing a mask. Should I be wearing a mask for this? <laughs> okay, I think that's sufficiently mixed in and it's still, it's still just wafting everywhere. We need butter and we need 60 grit. Uh, again, that's a lot, so we're timing it by three. But we're back to the butter. And he says hi. He's supervising over this side. He is. <laughs> Maybe I, I, I could put a fan on. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Lucian. <laughs> I'm so loud. I'm so loud in my ear. <laughs> you couldn't have, couldn't have done that when Josh was remoting in and I couldn't hear the sound for a second. <laughs> uh, those honk. Get a workout. Cinnamon challenge. Yes, we were talking about that. Oh, there's a fly inside. Addie, hunt. There's a fly inside. Hunt. She's on it. She's on the case. <laughs> I taught her the word hunt. Ooh, basically a filled snack crate. Mm. Sounds like my kind of crate. My secret mixing tip is to use a Tupperware with a lid and shaking the dust season until mix. You're a genius. Oh my. Bib, you're a genius. Why did I not think of that? What? You need some dishes assistance? Mm, not yet. Because I might have to make more. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much this is going to be. But thank you. I know, it's getting pretty full, isn't it? Move it slightly to give you more room. Thank you. Josh is coming out and doing his, his usual like, do I need to tidy and put things in the dishwasher stage? But I don't know, because we might need these bowls again. We shall. Um, but yes, I should definitely do that next time. And what is so 60, 60 grams. And I need another bowl. Actually, you know what you can do? Get out some trays. Get out like four trays. That would be good.
Excellent. And then some bacon If you could break that off, like, away from the mic, because that's loud. Yeah. Okay. Patty will be fun. Oh, and a dance Little, uh, literally a little boot from the Spanish Canada. It's a Mexican snack cake with wrap as a strawberry, oh, oh, I don't know what I did there, strawberry flavoured jelly and cream filled cake with a chocolate flavoured coating. Mm. That sounds delicious. And I like that it, it's like a little goose. <laughs> That's cute. Here's my little goose. Hello. <laughs> I was talking about you. Oh. You're the big goose. <laughs> and I like things when they're um, even better frozen. Like the lemon fudge that I made one time on stream. Josh just was obsessed with that and I made so much. Josh's grandpa came over with a whole bunch of lemons. And then I made some, it was like lemon white chocolate fudge. And I put it in the freezer because I was like, we can't eat all this at the one time. We have to put it in the freezer. And then turns out that it's even more delicious when it's straight from the freezer. So it was constantly, I could just constantly hear the freezer door opening and shutting. And he like grab out another piece of frozen fudge. And it was even better, even better frozen. Hi, Addy. It's a delicious, delicious flower, hey? Okie dokie. So we need butter. I'll get that already so then I can just roll this out and then we can start filling it, which is exciting. I really hope we have enough. I'll try really hard to just stretch it as far as we possibly can so I don't have to make a whole nother batch. Also, I'm having a bad hair day. I did brush my hair. I did. <laughs> Sticking out a weird. Like what? What? What is this? Tuck it behind my ear, but I do also have the earpiece in, so that looks weird. <laughs> okay, okay. Ninety grams of butter. Here we go. Excuse me, Addy. I'm gonna step on you. She's on clean up through. Look at her diligently making her way down. I'm gonna slip on your saliva, Addy. Stop licking, I stand there. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harley. Thank you for that. Sam, my hair always looks nice. Thank you. Today, though, I don't know. I think I slept on it funny. But I did wash it. I washed it twice last night because we went to our friends, which is like they're so out in the country um, and there was a bonfire, there was like wood fire and it just like soaked up into my hair. So even, yeah, I washed it twice last night when we got back and I think that I just, I don't know, when I wash my hair twice in a row to get like wood fire smell out, it just goes funny. And then I was too tired to blow dry it properly and then I fell asleep on it. <laughs> I wake up with my hair looking like Beetlejuice. <laughs> Hi. That's most of our interaction with Addie, by the way. It's just she looks up at me and I look down at her and then we I say hi to her. Oven's being very noisy. Shush. It's just got a slight vibration to it. Sixty grams of butter. Are you ready, Addy? Scale. I wish the scale just wouldn't turn off until you're actually done with it, but it just times out. Yep. And it needs to be softened. Oh, pass. Mm -hmm. 
120, 100, okay, so we need 180. That'll be easy, I'll just do that. I'll do it at the one time, we need 180. Twenty hundred and fifty-eight. I know it, Addy. It looks like cheese, doesn't it? I think that's why she's out. She look oh, she thinks this looks like a block of cheese, which can we blame her? It very much looks like our cheddar cheese that we usually get. Oh, <gasps> yep, 180. Can you see that? It said 181 for a second. Oh, wait. The bowl's in the way. It says 180, exactly. And so exact with our butter measurements today. Hopefully it makes up for any, any potential mistakes we might make. That needs to be softened. So I'll just I'll zap that in the microwave, but not for not for too too long. A butter here comes with little markings at the side of the packaging, so you know how much fifty grams of it are, and not have to weigh it. That would be oh my god! This one does. A lot of them that we we get from Audi, they don't have that, and we must have got this one from Woolworths. Yes, I should have checked. Again, you're a genius. <laughs> yep, all the cooking tips. I'm definitely, next time, just gonna... When I'm mixing this much cinnamon and sugar, I am going to put that in a Tupperware. So I definitely inhaled a little too much of that. <laughs> oh, and thank you so much for the follow. Rodenheel29, thanks for being here. We're celebrating 400 followers by cooking 400 cinnamon rolls. <laughs> okay, let's zap this for a little bit. Exactly what I did when I made potato balls at the restaurant. I had to make sure every single one was the same size. Yes. Yes, I definitely should have just looked at that. I was trying to do math because I was crippling. I was like, you know what? I will just do the grams. They're tripling a recipe, so. <laughs> and I think that was in 50, 50 gram increments, so. And then, but there you go. Next time though, when I'm not tripling your recipe, I'll just look straight at the butter. Don't you think, Addy? Oh, I'm smart. <laughs> oh, then the scale didn't work for a while. I had to remember the size. <laughs> We are rolling it out. Does what we're doing. We're rolling it out and then the butter. Oh, does that smell delicious, Addy? It does, doesn't it? it smells so good. Yes. Uh, butter is salt melted. Oh, it's still got heat in it, so I'll just let that sit for a bit. I'm going to roll out a triple batch of dough. And that'll expand so much in the oven.
Can you hear Annie? She's just licking the floor. <sighs> um, also, scales turning off on my pet peeve, especially when I work with a resin. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, that that would certainly be annoying with resin in particular. Now I find it annoying enough with cooking, so I can only imagine. And also, that's very cool that you work with resin. Is that do you make like crafty things? with resin. I've watched quite a few like sh short form videos where people are making things out of resin and it looks like so much fun. Stop looking the floor. I stand here. Now I'm standing on a slobber. You're a crafter, yes. Oh, awesome. Anything from there? I'm to jewelry. That's amazing. Do you stream as well, Viv? On Twitch or maybe you have an Etsy store? I've definitely seen some very cool things on Etsy with resin. Some cool earrings and things. And you do stream that gaming. And you have a YouTube. Excellent. Well, everyone, go and follow Viv. Crafting on YouTube and so, so stream gaming. Excellent. And anyone who's new here, I also do some gaming. <laughs> Just like Viv here. Um, I love it. I love gaming. I've always loved gaming. As my cousins and sister can attest. <laughs> All those summer holidays where we'd be playing games on the PlayStation 2. We'd always take it in turns and whoever died um, then they'd have to pass it to the next person and I don't know, I was just always a little bit better <laughs> gaming wise. I think because I spent so much more time practicing and playing games. So a fair bit of the time it was just me playing and my cousins watching. <laughs> but I guess it was natural that I came to Twitch because I love playing and I love chatting about games. And most importantly, just playing, playing them. Oh my goodness, maybe I shouldn't have combined this into one giant thing. Getting so big it's not even fully on the camera. Sure. Oh, and your Etsy is only shipping to Germany. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yes, Josh and I actually have our own little Etsy. It's not a crafty one though, but I have thought be really really fun because Etsy is definitely the place to be for handmade craft things for sure. We have um, like a digital download store that we opened up recently on Etsy called Minimalist Manage and we've had a few little sales which is very exciting um, but mostly it's on our, our website that we drive sales but thought it'd be cool to have an Etsy store I've always wanted to have one so yeah not crafty or anything, but digital downloads are still, still very handy. And that's a, a fun fact for you, if anyone doesn't know what Josh and I do, we actually um, resigned from our jobs like two years ago, and we've been doing our own thing ever since. And one of the things that we do is our online minimalism small business which is so much fun and addy is ce doggo <laughs> he's our ce doggo of our small business okay this is definitely definitely getting 
it's huge. I'm thinking I'm just gonna fully, fully roll it out as thin as I possibly can. And then we'll add all the fillings and everything. And then I'll slice. I've got four trays and I want 10 rows of 10 so that we can have our equal 400. Oh yes, there we go. Thank you so much for adding that into the chat, Josh. That is our website right there. No, oh, thank you. Yes, I had so much fun. I have so much fun making the digital downloads and the planning ones in particular. They're like, I use them all the time and I have always been super, super organized, like hyper organized. So having like digital planners where I can, they're like editable ones. So you can use the same one over and over again to plan out your day or your month or your year or your week. It's great. Keeps me on track because we have many things on the go, Josh and I, now that we're self-employed and not working for an employer telling us what to do. We certainly need to keep on track. So sometimes it's a little overwhelming, but I find if I have a plan, then I just, it makes it so much easier and I get less overwhelmed if I have a plan. But yes, we haven't made any digital demos in a little bit now. That's definitely the funnest part for me is creating them. have been focusing on our social media lately, where Addie has been the star of the show. <laughs> Recently, I've had some really funny ones of just uh, CE Doggo. <laughs> So that's also my favorite thing to do is take footage of Addy. I think that's every pet owner's favorite thing to do is take photos of their animal. <laughs> All right, do we think we can get 400 out of this? We still got heaps of rolling to do, but it's about, it's about this thick if you can you probably can't see from there, but it's about that thick. So we still have lots to roll out. I think we're gonna need more space though. I always forget to use my planners for weeks and then randomly use them again. Yeah, yep. Yes, I can see that. That's um, the ones that I have. I just, I have it on my phone because I always have my phone on me and I use it religiously. If it's not on my phone, I just tend not to use it. We do have a big, big like wall planner over to my left here where we put if there's any any like appointments or events or anything that we have, I always make sure to tell Josh put it on the calendar. So then at least it's there. And then I always transfer it over into electronic form. Because then I can set a notification or else I will forget. I don't have a notification and if it's not in my phone, I don't do it. <laughs> Addie's just having a snooze, she's given up, given up on <laughs> Flicking the floor. There she is in my very flowery uh, apron. Important, important appointments immediately go on our kitchen calendar. <laughs> oh, also, since you game, how about gaming recipes? I have thought about it. Josh's favorite game is Guild Wars 2, and they have a whole lot of different recipes on there, like sweet, was it? Sweet and spicy butternut squash, I think, is one of the main ones that I always hear him talking about. Um, so I have thought that would be really cool if I could recreate some some recipes from games. That'd be awesome. And Guild Wars 2 has thousands, thousands of recipes. 
And there was someone that I was um, that I'm following as well. I cannot remember their name right now, but that's um, they were doing a whole lot of cooking from Skyrim. That would be cool. And we do have a few like cookbooks. I think we what else do we have? I think we have the Harry Potter book, like the unofficial cooking Harry Potter book. Um, I really wanted the Friends one. Yeah, that'd be cool. Not that that's a game, but I'm just trying to think what else we have in that little section of our bookcase there. There's a few different cookbooks. Oh, Fallout. Do we have the Fallout one? They have some cool recipes in that. <laughs> Babish made some Skyrim food. I love bitching with Babish. I love him. He's so cool. Also, he makes me want to get a tiny whisk. <laughs> and I did see one actually in an op shop uh, the other week. I didn't get it because it was like in a pack of a whole range of different random things and I only wanted the tiny whisk I didn't want all the other other stuff so I passed it up but it would be very cool to have a tiny whisk <laughs> yeah Addy <laughs> I wonder if this is going to take up the entire counter space I think maybe it would have been easier if I just kept it oh hi She's awake. She can see the dough coming over the side of the countertop towards her. She's like, yes, roll it into my mouth. No. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know that look. She's thinking of it and you got a cheeky tail wag there. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You remember what you did with the puff pastry? Do you remember what she did with the puff pastry that time? If you were here? Decked in it. <laughs> a little paw print. Not happening today, Addy. Not today. Yeah, I definitely, definitely should have kept this in the single serves and then rolled it out. This is a lot of dough. Oh, speaking of bob shops, this is where I got this rolling pin from. A thrift store. Also, I hope I have enough flour that it's not going to get stuck on the ground. On the ground. <laughs> on the countertop. Definitely don't want it to get stuck on the ground. Although, Addy, I think, thinks differently. She would love this if the purpose was on the ground. <laughs> Hi. Yes, there we go. Look how, look how large it's getting. There we go. Huge. I'm running out of space to roll it. I can I can roll it like this way. Which I'm trying to trying to do, but we're coming up to see all the things. We got the mic here. Ah, <laughs> you need more room. And I'm sounding more and more distant. It's because I'm moving the microphone further and further away, and I need to move the the mouse as well. Oh, found a tiny whisk, it's a keychain one. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> you could always just be ready to whisk something. I, um, the coolest thing that I found as a keychain, which is literally on my keychain right now, is a tiny, tiny little tape measure because I'm constantly measuring things because we're in our house and there's lots of things to be done. There's always something to be done. And we're always going to Bunnings and the amount of times I'm like, ah, oh, I just, I need a tape measure right now. So I found one and it's always over my keychain. So it's just the handiest thing ever. I've used it so many times. <laughs> always got a tape measure on me. And Chris, I can't see a tiny whisk without thinking of Babbage. Same, 
same. Every time I see a tiny whisk, I'm like, oh, garbage, I want one. I'm not sure that's what he wanted to be known for. <laughs> yes, I'm sure when he very first started his YouTube channel, he wasn't like, yes, I'm gonna be the guy who everyone associates with a tiny whisk. <laughs> <laughs> and highly poor cinnamon rolls. <laughs> yes. I do would love that. Also, um, I saw the place that we would send Addie for doggy daycare, which we only do on special occasions because it's quite expensive. We only, we've done it for like Halloween, she went, and for her birthday. And I think it's the only time she went last year. Because it is, it is a lot of money. Um, they were doing like paw prints, like art with the dogs, um, which is really cool. I think it was for Mother's Day, maybe. But yeah, and they're getting all the paws <laughs> and like dipping them in paint. But they did it where the paint didn't actually get on the dog's foot. I think it was like they were using glad wrap or something. So you get the print of it without getting the paint on them because I feel like that would be a logistical nightmare having all these dogs run around with paint on their paws. Oh, we're officially out of space by the way. Officially out of space over this way and it's like this thick. So we still have more room to roll. This side's definitely the thinnest. Maybe we'll just start over here. Oh, yeah, it's getting a bullet almost too thin. I don't want to push it. It might have been, maybe I'll slice with a butter knife here. See if we can get 10. I think we'll get 10 rows out of 10 out of this little section, but yeah, we definitely need more space for this to, to be rolled out. <clears throat> Adding with a brown sauce was like delicious milk bread. <laughs> <laughs> Cut into strips. Yes, that's that is what I'm thinking. Cutting it into strips, mm, and then we'll roll it, and then we'll cut it again. <laughs> 